All right, guys. Now I thought at this point it might be fun to take a second away from the soft software tutorial and kind of do a build tutorial here. Uh, just using the stuff that I've already taught you, we're going to make something just to kind of get the juices flowing. And um, while there's actually ultimately no limit to what you can make with the stuff that I've already shown you or implied, like, you know, using disk instead of ball, but, you know, it's all the same tool over there in the primitives, um, we're going to start with something relatively simple. And I'm going to do it even simpler. Uh, and I, I, I do that hoping that you understand that I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, so I'm going to do the simplest version of this, but you could actually do a rather complicated one with just the stuff you know. It would just, you know, look better. You'd pay better attention than I will. But uh, what do you say we do one of these? Uh, this is a TARDIS from the Doctor Who. Uh, and we're gonna, what we're going to do is, basically just using the stuff we already know, go through and knock it all out. Uh, and again, like I said, I highly suggest that you do something like this. And I, I, I highly suggest you do it several times because you'll get better and better at it as you go. And it's all in the service of making you a better 3D artist. I'm just gonna, you know, sprint through this thing and, and do the shittiest possible version of it. But you know, um, you should not. Uh, actually, when you're doing this, when you're making a new box, if you hold Control, it'll hold the square shape perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by hitting up and then right into four quadrants like that. F2 to center, um, and you'll see why I did that in a second. I'm just thinking ahead because basically you're developing what I already know, which is to say, um, planning ahead. I'm going to go ahead and flip that for reasons that, again, will become clear later. Actually, let's go ahead and go into Service Editor. Just click Double Sided. Uh, I, I lied. Double Sided will help you. Service Editor, Double Sided. Um, all right, let's see here. Divide my viewport up into double vertical. This one we're going to go perspective and flat shade. This one we're going to go left. Go ahead and Shift E to extrude. Take those top polygons and we want to bring them all in to make a little bevel thing there. But since there are multiple polygons there, we're going to use multi shift instead of bevel. Make sure group polygons is selected. Do this, bring it in, bring it up. Yeah, that'll work. Cool, enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and shift E, extrude, control, and drag here. About that high. Now, when you're in this mode, remember I mentioned. Uh, when I was showing you about this, the cube, if you're in edit mode with the handle and all that, making a cube or anything, uh, the up and down arrows will add geometry. I'm going to divide it into fourths for reasons, again, that will make sense in a second, but it's all stuff you already know and just kind of better at thinking ahead. Uh, I've been doing it longer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all four of these guys, shift A, and uh, go back to my multi-shift world numeric. Go ahead and make it a bit bigger so it's an overhang and just hit enter. I'm not even going to, you know, do a bevelly thing with it. I'm just using it to extrude it out. And then do another multi shift. Actually, no, not multi shift. Let's uh shift E. Drag it up a bit. I don't want all those subdivisions. That's from when I was setting up the main part of the phone box. So I'm just gonna hit left to lose them. Hit enter. And again, select those guys, multi shift in. Go ahead and inset it a bit, bring it up a bit for the bevel, enter, and then shift E to extrude, bring it up again, select those polygons, multi shift, bring it in again for the bevel, bring it up, not down, up. Uh, that'll be good. And then I'm going to do this one last time, get a really small square going now, like this. Hit enter, shift E to drag it up, get my little base there for the thingy. Then I'm going to go into top view, create a disk, which we haven't done yet, but you know, disk, numeric. Uh, oh shit, and it's already exactly the right size, but you could, you know, use control to drag it out and keep the exact proportion. I'm gonna do one of those. Let's go to front view and um, go ahead and drag so this guy comes out. It doesn't actually have to set perfectly on here, it can intersect, no one will know the difference. Bring it up a little bit, like that, hit enter. Cool, so we're getting somewhere on this target already. I mean, the proportions are kind of screwed up, but you know, whatever. Now let's look at the wireframe shade. The reason I set it up with these boxes here is so now I can um, go ahead and do this. Actually, if I'm in wireframe over here, just clicking and dragging and sweeping through this area will select all those polygons for me. And because of the way I set it up, with these squares, you know, even though you can't see them in wireframe shade or in, in without wireframe, they are there. And I put them there on purpose because I knew that later I was going to want to do this. 
hit B. Boink. What up? All right, so let's go ahead and do that guy. One of these, B. Look at it, boom. What up? Go into smooth shade. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it's shitty, but there, we just made a TARDIS. A really bad TARDIS. Uh, it's a retardus. And um, we did it using nothing but the stuff that you were able to learn in half an hour on the internet. So, not bad. Now, like I said, I raced through that. I didn't pay attention to details or anything. It's just, it's the antithesis of what good 3D work should be. But in the interest of kind of showing you the way that I would knock it out, do that, only do it better. Uh, pay close attention to the details and all of that stuff uh, and the proportions. But, and don't, feel, don't be afraid to like really be complicated with it and really do a good job of it because A, it'll only make you better. B, it'll only make me more impressed. Uh, and if you are, you know, interested to get my feedback, certainly send it to me, uh, email it to me, and um, I I'm happy to give you feedback on the thing. Uh, my email is teague.christy at gmail.com. You can see my how my name is spelled right there on the YouTube channel, teague.christy at gmail. And um, yeah, knock out a quick TARDIS or, you know, spend a an hour or a few hours making a really good TARDIS and uh, show me what you got. I look forward to seeing it. Later, guys.